Hello people, you look gorgeous today. In today's video, I will try some TikTok art tutorials because I need content and my art looks like poo at the moment. Okay, so the first tutorial is pretty much blending stuff to make juicy lips. Now let's see if I can do that digitally if not then the tutorial is trash for not being helpful to me. Let's try it out on this doodle I just did in one second. I know it looks like crap but hey I draw with a mouse. The first time I tried this she was smiling but smiling isn't pretty. So remember guys don't smile. It looks good I suppose, I kinda screwed myself over by making it all grayscaled. The brush I used for this doodle is a flat brush dry and an airbrush. What made the doodle kinda descent was those highlights. So don't forget to add highlights or your art is hot garbage no matter your skill level. Tutorial 1 ranked 5 tenths. You get annoyed when you're trying to make a flat layer under your line art and it takes ages. You have to erase overlaps and keep checking everything is connected while inking around the inside of the character. I mean look at the state of this. If you duplicate your inked layer like I have here. Add a new layer above the duplicated line art and activate clipping mask. Use the color you want your flat layer to be and fill the clipped layer and then merge with the layer below. Now on this layer, you can easily fill in the character with your base color. Now all you need to do is drag your flat layer underneath your original line art layer. If you add a layer in between the two, you can activate a clipping mask to easily color your character without going outside of the lines. I hope you found this useful. This hack seems super useful. I am too lazy to make a whole new drawing so I am going to use a work in progress I have. I won't explain this drawing as it is for another YouTube video I am working on. So wait for that maybe subscribe if you're new. I like this technique it is really helpful, especially when doing a scenery like this. I will continue to use this method when working on different drawings. Although it was a little choppy and I had to clean up some parts, although that could be just my line art style. This tutorial is a 10 out of 10. You guys have asked me a lot for line art tips, so that's what this video is going to be for. Keep in mind I do have a Discord server where I stream very frequently, most of the time doing line art. Here's some examples on screen of my line art work. And here the shell brush is the only line art brush that I use. In order to get that deep line effect, you have to know where to put thick and thin lines. Most of the time I put them where two lines meet to create a corner. I'll throw some examples here on screen so you can get a good idea of what I mean. Always remember to have your opacity lower if you're going for a textured or kind of like sketchy effect. Something else that I really like doing is blurring the line art. This can be done by duplicating the line art layer and using Gaussian blur on the second layer. Once you've done that, it creates a really cool smoky effect, but it's important to remember that it does not work for every kind of line art style. This is why I don't use it often. Keep in mind though that this brush may not be the one for you. It's important that you experiment with different brushes because they all look and feel differently. Once you learned now we are moving to a line art hack. Problem this is for probably Clip Studio Paint and I'm in Midi Bong Paint Pro. Well this looks like a flat brush so let's try that.
Okay, I spent way too long on this piece. I think the linear looks nifty. Better than how I usually do it. 8 out of 10, but I probably did it wrong. And that is the end of the video. I would have done more, but that would be too boring for me. Now I don't have a TikTok, so don't ask me for one. But if you do want to see more of my amazing art, follow me here or on Instagram. I heard from a little birdie the next video will be a Ock video or maybe another book trailer. You totally don't want to miss that. Anyway, I got to go, so bye.